Okay, so I have decided to go ahead and redo Micah's face up. So I have my template made that I had didn't done like the tutorial for before. I'm doing this first just so that I have it out of the way and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Don't know if you can see it, but I've got his eyebrows kind of planned out there. And I'm just blushing in his eyebrows doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just making sure I have a basic idea of where his eyebrows are going. I love doing this method. I don't get to do it a lot because I usually draw my girls my girls eyebrows on and I don't do my face ups on my boys that often. I just every now and then I redo them. So now I have done that. You have to be really careful when you pull this off because you don't want to pull off the coating. Let's put that there. And that's just a basic layout of his eyebrows. I'm going to blush over them a little bit. I did pull a tiny bit off, but that's okay. I'll use this to just kind of pencil them in a little bit. I usually turn upside down, it's easier for me. That's filled out. I filled out his eyebrow a little more. Now, they're not perfect because I'm actually going to haze them up a little bit. Oops. Let me get my other little brush here. There we go. I'm doing it on. I'm doing a tutorial again on the face up because a few people had kind of PM'd me and said they couldn't really see the Ashanti face up because she's such a dark skinned doll. Okay, let me just grab mine. seems to love coming over here to investigate while I'm doing my face-ups. 
Very bizarre. This is my eraser pencil, just to touch up where I don't want that. You don't want to press too hard with the eraser pencil because it will take off the MSC too if you're not careful. No, Rocky, to get in. Yeah, I decided to go black with him because I didn't want... I mean, the white was nice, but I'm kind of overdoing having him in the white face up. I mean, in the white wig and stuff. So I'm redoing him to fit more the original idea I had for him. Blushing a little bit of the brownish red into him, just to contour him a little bit, give him some depth, some color around his eyes. He's not going to be completely gothed out. This is just going to be more. Oops! Put a little bit of the black onto his. perfection up under, underneath his eyebrow. It's going to be part of his face-up design. Now I'm just rubbing the ridge right there and I do that so that this little line shows up. Like it basically traces the ridge for you with the pastels and it shows you where to put your like liner, if you want to put eyeliner on them. Okay, now I'm going to use a Q-tip to actually apply some darker... The Q-tip will actually f force the MSC to take the pastels a little better. It's a really cool technique that um, the person who taught me how to do face-ups kind of showed me. you can see.
now I'm going to apply a little bit of pink. I actually like to use this little makeup brush that I got to put the blushing on the cheeks because it really shows it really does a good job. Although on this one, I'm gonna do this one because it's a little heavier. Sometimes I squeeze the brush like this so I can get it into the pastel. I don't like to shave my pastels. I find that I can get just as much on the brush by putting it directly on the pastel stick. This I use to clear up little pieces, little areas like this where it gets too much. some pink up to the top. See, there's a little spot. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little spot right there. That happens sometimes. There's one right here. There we go. Now, I'm going to add a darker color for his lip not black. I want to do sometimes I'll use my magic eraser just to get some of the pastel off while I'm in mid face up. This just applies the makeup down into the lip a little bit. And then I'll use the Q-tip trick again. And again, the Q-tip forces the MSC to take the pastel a little thicker. <laughs> then I just use the little piece of magic eraser to help touch it up. And this will help blur the edges a little bit, too. Okay, I've got to start the second part of the video. So, we'll go from there.